When it comes to making electric cars, there are a handful of automakers out there who seem truly committed to the process, building decent volumes of electric cars and leading the global push to get as many people off fossil fuels as possible. Those companies, including Tesla, Renault, Nissan, General Motors, and BMW, all have robust electric vehicle programs and a commitment to electric vehicles looking forwards. But others remain skeptical of battery electric vehicles, like Fiat, Chrysler, and Toyota. And there's also a third group of automakers, including Volkswagen, Ford, and Mercedes-Benz, all of whom have talked the talk for a number of years on electric vehicles, but have yet to really do anything meaningful with them. That third group is now eager to catch up to automakers with more established brand programs, and they're working full steam ahead on their own EVs, promising a slew of new plug-in models over the next few years. But with all these new models heading to market, there's something of a challenge on the way for those automakers, namely where they get the large numbers of lithium-ion battery packs they're going to need to transition their fleets from gasoline to electric. Some automakers like Tesla are taking care of their own battery needs in-house, with massive battery production facilities like the now famous Gigafactory north of Reno, Nevada. Others are working on partnerships with existing third-party manufacturers, such as the partnership between General Motors and LG Chem, which sees the electronics firm supply all the necessary high-capacity lithium-ion batteries GM needs to produce the Chevrolet Bolt EV. So far, while demand is already outstripping supply, something which even impacted Tesla last quarter, the supply of lithium-ion batteries is not yet at a critical point. But at the end of last month, Ulrich Eichhorn, head of Volkswagen's R&D division, told Automotive Years Europe that the automotive industry will hit a critical lithium-ion supply problem in less than a decade, unless the whole automotive industry could build an additional 40 gigafactory-sized battery production facilities. He made the comments during a presentation about the future of electrification at Volkswagen, in which he said the company would need to secure a supply of about 200 gigawatt hours of batteries annually across its various brands to turn just one quarter of its fleet electric by 2025. Extrapolating that across the whole industry and assuming that other mainstream automakers would turn a similar percentage of their fleets electric in a similar time frame, Eichhorn said that the global demand for lithium-ion batteries for electric vehicles would total more than 1.5 terawatt hours by 2025. And that, he said, is the equivalent of 40 gigafactory sized facilities, each churning out 35 gigawatt hours of battery capacity per year. And that's before we even get to the companies producing static energy products alongside electric cars. Before I go on, though, I would like to point out a miscalculation on Volkswagen's part. During 2018, Tesla's first gigafactory will turn out about 35 gigawatt hours of batteries. But over the next decade or so, that will rise to more than 150 gigawatt hours per year, meaning that Volkswagen's estimate of 40 gigafactories may be a little high for just a 25% shift to electric by 2025. Indeed, a while ago now, Elon Musk suggested that we'd need 100 gigafactory-style facilities in order to get the world off fossil fuels completely, transitioning both transportation and the electrical grid to sustainable, renewable power. And given that includes all transportation and energy usage, the Volkswagen estimate does seem super high. But there's one thing we can all agree on here. We need more gigafactory-style facilities. Of course, China is already well underway with its own massive battery production facilities in order to help it fuel its own domestic electric car revolution. But other parts of the world are going to need their own gigafactories too, and not just the Tesla-owned ones either. It's why tier one parts suppliers like Bosch, who've traditionally not produced battery packs, are looking into the possibility of branching out into the lithium-ion business. And with many countries and communities looking to push towards a zero-carbon future, essentially G20 minus the US, plus those massively influential C40 cities, getting into the battery manufacturing business does seem like a no-brainer. That means ensuring that all those gigafactories not only contain state-of-the-art production equipment, but also work hard to ensure that any toxic material is safely managed, that recycling of batteries is an integral part of each facility, as is the case with Tesla's gigafactory, and that any raw materials are responsibly mined and refined with limited environmental damage. At the end of the day, building the factories seems like the easy part. Let's just hope everything else fits into place too. 
Do you agree? Do you think Volkswagen's estimate for gigafactories is too high or low? And how many firms do you think will want to produce batteries moving forwards? And is a career in lithium ion batteries a good choice for someone just out of college, given how much we're going to rely on those batteries in the future? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And of course, don't forget to help keep those wind turbines spinning by switching to New Zealand's only Carbon Zero certified renewable electricity company. That's it for today. Thanks for joining me. I'm Nikki Gordon-Bloomfield and until next time, hug a tree. <laughs> Bye.